Okay, so let's continue our Bootstrap 4 training further down. And we are looking up by for some of the classes written by somebody else. Now, we have talked with uh, some of the H1 tags, display tags, paragraphs, black codes, blah, blah stuff. Now, let's continue further uh, with a few things which are important again. And uh, these are a few revised things in the Bootstrap 4 and I love them. The first of them is the list. Now again, since the list, I don't want my list to be going very, very to the left, just like these paragraphs. I want them to be a little bit stable. I will wrap everything inside a container. So I'll write div dot container. And this is by the way, a shortcut of generating a division with a class of container. You guessed that right, dot for class, hash for ID. So if I do that, this gives us a class command Z. And if I do a hash there, put my cursor end, and this gives me ID, okay? Everything this is mentioned in our Emmet video training, which is free, and go ahead and watch it in case you wish to. Now let's go into the container in here, and what I want to talk about is an ordered list, okay? Now again, we will be generating some boilerplate code to understand the unordered list in here, okay? So I'll write UL, that means unordered list. In that, I want a list item. And how many list item? Let's just say five. So multiply by five and there we go. Some boilerplate code. So I'll write, uh, I'll just press my command key and I'll write multiple cursors there. And I'll write uh, one there, okay? Some boilerplate code so that we can see it in here, okay? And I'll save this and I expect this to reload. Okay, so there we go. We can see some dots. No big deal. You have already seen these things uh, in your HTML section. Now, what we want to do is to add some classes there. Now, the first thing that you might want to do is add a class uh, to your unordered list. And the class name is list-inline. Okay, as soon as you save this and go back in here and you'll be seeing that the default classes are gone, okay? So the, the dots that you might be seeing there, it's, it's completely gone there, okay? That's the one thing. Now, obviously you might want to do a couple of things and especially in the menu part or the top navigation bar, although we do have navigation bar in the bootstrap, uh, but again, for some reason, maybe you want all of them to appear in just one line. And yes, yep, that is also covered. That is class name is list inline item and that, yep, you guessed that it goes with the list item, all of that. So again, I repeat the class name, list inline item. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna just place multiple cursors there and let's just do that. And that is one of the advantage of using a, some uh, advanced editor like Atom or Sublime. I, by the way, pressed my command and there, okay? And I'll be adding a class there and the class name is list-inline-item. Now, I personally think, oops, item, oops, again, item. Save that, go in here, and there we go. Everything is just one line. Now, I personally think that uh, there should be some class that should have been applied to the UL and uh, it automatically gets all the list item and gets them in one line because writing this class name again and again uh, is really repetition of the code, which I'm not a big fan, but hey, <laughs> this is just the bootstrap. It's class written by somebody else that I'm trying to use in here. Okay, now there are a lot of things that you can do in here, but uh, that's what we are gonna follow up right now. Now there are a couple of scenarios where you might want some code to be uh, displayed there. For example, maybe this block code, you want as it is to be displayed. And there is no good way of displaying this block code as it is. So yes, Bootstrap gives you that option as well. And let's create another div of container there. So it's gonna be simply div.container, and there we go. And now let's use some of the code there. So uh, let's just say this block code, okay? Where are you, where are you? This block code, I want this guy to be displayed as it is in this division. Save that and notice you go back in here, you don't see anything. And uh, HTML doesn't throw up any errors, so this is not going to happen. Now what you can do in here is, let's just go in here. Uh, there is a tag being given to you that is named with the code. Okay, and whatever you put inside the code, uh, let me just show you a couple of bugs there. Not the bugs, it's some workaround. Save that, and if I go back in here, notice something is there, uh, but you are not able to see it, okay? And let's just go back in here. We want this code to be running in here. This doesn't give us anything. 
So what we have to do, uh, let me just show you a quick trick in here. Uh, this guy is actually having a name. So it's end, which is ampersand as well, LT and comma. Okay, I save that. And I go back in here and notice it's a block code. Now this is. So you have to replace all your spatial characters with their uh, equivalent UTF names, okay? And for this guy, there is an M percent, and this guy is GT colon, okay? And I save that. Notice uh, it doesn't give you anything, although it just throws my code code back. Maybe it doesn't need that, okay? And uh, this does our job. Let's go back in here, and I think why is it not working? Okay. Okay, this is problematic in here for us. Okay, let's just solve that. Let's just try to write it again and use an ampersand again. And this is GT. Colin, save that. And there we go. Might be I have written something else. Uh, might be I'm not 100% in here. Okay, so this is how you write your code. So block code. So any anything that goes inside the code is actually being displayed. And yes, there is some default styling being applied to it. Uh, but later on we can change it obviously and obviously don't forget to change everything like a codes and backslash to their equivalent uh, code there okay so this is one thing that you should always take care now also uh, there are a couple of things that you need to be aware of that are keyboard inputs uh, you use them very rarely but maybe maybe sometime you might want to use them so therefore you should be understand and if you want anything to be keyboard specific, uh, the tag that you give is KBD. You might have heard about the KBDs, or I can just write KBD. There we go, the keyboard tags. And let's just say you want somebody to say, hey, I want you to be control plus C, or maybe just CTRL for control, save that. Go back in here, and there we go. It's highlighted there. And anybody can see that this is a command, this is a control, okay? So this is all the fun stuff that you can do with the bootstrap using the uh, typography there. So I would say this is the only thing that you need. Yes, there are hundreds of things maybe still remaining, but you don't need everything to learn. There are a lot of things that you learn on the go. And obviously that on the go will be covered in the project. So this is it. Practice it and I'll catch you up in the next video.